want to show you pictures uh, of the lineup, indigenous delegates who are getting a private tour today of the Vatican Museums. We're covering this special week, the historic meetings between Métis, Inuit, First Nations delegations in Rome to meet with Pope Francis. One of the things that they are, of course, interested in is that formal papal apology over the Catholic Church's role in residential schools. But there are other issues that are central to the discussions, and one is the question of indigenous artifacts. So, hence this tour. They are actually seeing artifacts that the church has amassed over the centuries, and the indigenous delegations are seeing them for themselves, many of which are actually not ever in the public eye. But let's bring in Olivia Stefanovic, who has more detail on this. She's part of our CBC News team in Rome. Olivia, thank you for joining us live. Tell us a little bit about these artifacts, what they are seeing, and, uh, you know, what is, the, what is the history of these particular artifacts? Well, Heather, you know, when people normally think of the Vatican museums, they may think of the masterpieces of Italian art, Michelangelo. But what people may not realize is that the Vatican also holds about 100,000 artifacts from Indigenous nations around the world, including Canada. It's unclear exactly how many are from Canada, and not a lot of people have seen what's in the Vatican collection because most of these items are in storage, and there is no list, no publicly available list of what the Vatican actually holds. But delegates who are in Rome, Rome this week to meet Pope Francis, they are getting a chance to see some of these items firsthand, including a rare kayak from Western Arctic. This is from the Inuvi Aleut region, and it's said to be one of uh, five of its kind in the world, and it's about 100 years old. It's unclear how the kayak came to the Vatican, how the Vatican got it into its collection, but what we do know is that it was sent uh, to the v Vatican uh, during uh, the 1925 Vatican Missionary Exhibit, and this was an exhibit exhibit that the Pope put on at the time, uh, a collection, it was a, a huge exhibit uh, that they put on to celebrate uh, the missionary work. And they also wanted to feature uh, Indigenous cultural belongings from around the world. So there was a call out to all the missionaries around the world to bring in these cultural objects from Indigenous nations. Now, the Vatican claims that these are all gifts, but that is, but there is a contested history there. And a lot of the delegates who are in Rome this week, they want to find out a little bit more about what the Vatican Vatican holds. Of course, they're not seeing everything that the Vatican has. There are actually uh, two catalogs available that the Vatican has published that has some photos of these uh, artifacts, which include uh, face masks, human face masks from British Columbia, uh, you know, moccasins, and many other artifacts that are in the Vatican's possession, Heather. Well, you've been talking about them, and we've been looking at the pictures beside you, Olivia, as we've been listening. And just to draw the emphasis on this, just incredible things that we haven't seen before, most of us here in Canada, that rare kayak out mm -hmm. of the vaults for this. As you mentioned, some of the ceremonial garb, we've seen moccasins in these pictures. There's the kayak, we've seen gloves, just extraordinary. Um, how did the Vatican come to acquire these artifacts and why has that become an issue for the delegates who are there? Well, there is a contested history here. So the Vatican says that these are all gifts to the Pope, and most of them were sent to the Vatican during this 1925 missionary exhibit. However, researchers, including a Canadian researcher who's in Rome on a fellowship, her name is uh, Gloria Bell. She's an a assistant uh, art history professor at McGill University. She studied these artifacts for nearly a decade, and she says that some of these items may have been stolen by missionaries and Indigenous peoples may have been working under duress to create them. She also has found evidence, Heather, that some residential school students, at least in the United States, sent materials in for this exhibit in 1925. And there is an open research question as to whether some residential school, school students in Canada were forced to make these items uh, for the Vatican uh, exhibit as well in 1925, Heather. Olivia, thank you very much. An important story on this uh, historic week. Thank you in uh, Vatican City. That is our Olivia Stefanovic.